was sent for and it arrived in two days and he installed it. Now this device works off of pressure and there's a sensor here. As the evaporator gets cold, the pressure drops, opens the switch and shuts off the compressor. Life is good. Life is happiness. Fine. Cool stuff. Awesome. He comes home one night. His wife is there. and She looks extraordinarily nice. She made him his favorite dinner. She's got on a, a, a very attractive looking dress. Her hair is made up. She brings him the slippers and he's sitting there in his easy chair and he brings the slippers over, brings him a pipe and looks down at him and smiles at him and bats her eyelashes. Now you older guys know what's up. For you younger guys, she says, congratulations, I'm with child, you're going to be a daddy. Which is always guaranteed to get a positive reaction of all future fathers. <laughs> But when a woman becomes with child, there's a problem. Nature prepares them. For your fathers out there, nature prepared your wives, your girlfriends, if that may be, to have children by waking them up at 2 o'clock in the morning. They wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning and they were lonely. And they had weird tastes. They want pickle ice cream with ketchup and horseradish. Very strange flavor combinations because their bodies craving chemicals as the child is growing inside. Notice I did not use the PG word. In 1915, PG was a fighting word. To say someone was pregnant was considered to be crass and crude, and a man would fight another man who called his wife pregnant. They were with child. Now, moving on. So, he was peacefully asleep. All of a sudden, his wife woke him up and says, you know what, I can't see the food. I need you to hold the door open and hold light down there so you can get food to eat at night because we've got to feed two here. Okay, for only 75 sheep, for only 50 cents, they will send you a special kit called Got Light. And so they send you the kit, you install the light, and the light's on. Light's on 24 hours a day. And you notice the compressor is running an awful lot. Because the light never shuts off. So the light's a heat load. It's making heat. So your bills are going sky high. The bill comes in a month. You get excited. You get angry. And you're all upset about the light thing. And you read the back of it. It says, oh, too much light. Send 75 cents to Acme. And we will send you three switches. The three switches they sent are like this. Each of these three switches are different. Is there anyone in here named Manual? Do we have any manuals in here today? No manuals. Anybody in here know who Yehudi is? When I was a young man, I was growing up, I had an evil stepfather, a mean bastard from Arkansas. And I didn't know it, but when I went to bed at night, if I didn't eat all my cake, or I didn't eat all my pudding, or my, my pie, the next morning, it was gone. There's no such thing as saving food. So I went to my mom, I said, Mom, who ate my pie last night? Dirty bastard. Who, who, ate, who ate my pudding? What happened to my ice cream? And my mom said, now son, it's okay. Yehudi ate it. And you're asking yourself, who the hell is Yehudi? Yehudi is the guy that lives in the refrigerator and turns the light on and off. So I grew up believing in Yehudi. So my mom said, come over here and take a look. Just watch. As we close the door, see, he turned the light off. Well, he's got to be fed. And so he does happen to like sweets, so he eats sweets. Whatever you have left over, he'll eat. And, you know, notice he doesn't ask for more. He just finishes what's on your plate. And I go, oh, man, we've got a little guy living in our refrigerator. Okay, Mom, Yehudi lives in our reefer, turns the light on and off. I swear I grew up believing that for a while. So, there was no Yehudi available in 1910. He wasn't in the neighborhood. There was no manual, so we couldn't use a manual switch. So we were stuck without the manual switch. So that meant he put in a push-button switch. The push-button switch was awesome. He had it all figured out. His lovely bride that was with child would go down at 2 o'clock in the morning for that 
special nighttime feeding. She'd open the door, she'd push the button, light would come on, and she'd get the food. Now, what's wrong with that? It's turned off. Well, no. As soon as she takes her finger off, it goes off. So it sounds good, right? Well, she goes on, honey, wake up, wake up. What, what, what? You gotta come downstairs and hold the button. I need two hands to get the food out. Oh. So he still gets woken up. He, well, this light switch is not gonna work. He says, what about the last light switch? Well, I'll try the last light switch. And he puts it in and installs it in such a manner that the door pushes the plunger and holds the switch open when the door is closed. The door pushes the plunger and holds it open. Now life is good. There is light whenever she needs it. We got refrigerated food. Everything is wonderful. And then one day, one day, the monsoon season is on side. Anybody remember the monsoon soon season? When this tropical storms come up from Mexico, the Gulf of Mexico, the ends of the tornadoes, the ends of the hurricanes, and the humidity gets really high. Anybody remember having real high humidity in Riverside for a week, two weeks a year? Well, he's out working. She comes back one night. She's sitting there, and she's doing this. Your refrigerating machine peed on my floor. What? Look, it peed on the floor. He walked over there and looked at it. Sure enough, there was water on the floor right underneath the machine. And he put his hand down. There was water all around the door. Well. Wow. The problem was there was so much. Come back for any time. Three dollars for those wrong answers. Problem was that there was so much humidity that it was condensing around the door seal. So he went back to his buddy's Acme and said, "For one dollar, one small dollar, we can house break your refrigerator." And they sent him a mullion heater kit. The mullion heater is a cool device. Or the door heater. The heater actually goes around the door frame and warms it up so condensation will not appear. Well, this guy was pretty smart. He said, wait a minute. This heater is on 24 hours a day. I only need it on for a couple weeks a year, right? Why should I pay for heater for 11 months when I don't use it? Maybe I have a switch. Do I have a switch I can use? Let's see, this switch over here, this one's already gone. Do I have a switch over here I can use to turn the heater on and off? Well, yeah, this one right here. So he goes over and he installs the switch. Now, I can't speak for you gentlemen. I certainly don't want to ruin the surprise. If you've never been married or spent a lot of time with the women, I will tell you they do not think the same way that men do. They don't. They think differently. And so he was trying to explain to his wife how to do the switch. And the switch was an ESS, or Energy Saver Switch. He was trying to explain to her the switch was there to save energy. And she wasn't getting it. And then all of a sudden, well, why don't you do this? When the switch is open, then the energy savings are on. When the switch is closed, the energy savings are off. He says, wait a minute, honey, what are you trying to say? Well, she says, real simple, don't you get it? You're a tech. When it's on, it's off. It's off, it's on. Think about that, guys. When it's on, it's off, and when it's off, it's on. So when it's in the on position, the heater is off and you're saving energy. The energy savings is on. Yet when the energy savings are off, the heater is on and you're losing money. Energy saver switch. So when it's on, it's off. It's off, it's on. Got it? Good. All refrigerators are now manufactured that way because women buy refrigerators mostly, and they're all looking for that energy saving switch. And so, or energy efficiency switch. So that's how the manufacturers make them. Before the switch, I don't have one online. Well, maybe you don't have an energy saver refrigerator. I do. Okay, if you look at it, there's a switch. And it says energy saver on it. A lot of times it's by the butter maker. Or it's up by the thermostat. It's just a little switch you slide back and forth.
Okay, so we got rid of the problem with the piddling refrigerator. You broke it, house broke it with the mullion heater or the door heater. So life is good. Hey, wait a minute. You ever heard about the Joneses? The dreaded Joneses moved in next door. Well, Mrs. Smith, which happens to be your wife, Mrs. Smith invited the Joneses, uh, welcome to the neighborhood, and they walked to the Joneses' house, and Mrs. Smith took her a pie. Well, Miss Jones happens to be married to the banker, who owned the only bank in Riverside at this time, and the banker had a huge house, and when Miss Smith went inside, and they saw the refrigerator was monster. The refrigerator was as big as that door. It was huge. So Miss Smith went home and said to her husband, you're in the business. I don't want this old small refrigerator anymore. I want a refrigerator that's just as nice as the Joneses. Hence the expression, keeping up with the Joneses. So you were then forced to go back to Acme and really look on there and say, hey, for only $2.50, we will send you additional parts to expand your refrigerator. You're going to need a condenser fan motor because the condenser now has to be so big it has to have its own fan motor. You are going to need a evaporator fan motor. The evaporator fan motor blows air across the evaporator. You need these things. Wow. So he in, buys them and installs them. Wow. Guess what happened? Two days later, his refrigerator started to fail. The evaporator coil was so big that frost was forming on it. And it, he had to get a self-defrost kit. So he said to Acme, for five dollars, they sent him a defrost timer motor and defrost kit, DTM, which operates the clock or the defrost, turns on a defrost heater, and during defrost, when the heater's on, we want to make sure the refrigeration is off. And so we have to have a switch that shuts off the refrigeration during defrost and turns the heater on for about 20 minutes. Wow, now you have a frosty refrigerator and you're styling. Hey, Neil. Hi. Guess what happens? The Joneses are going to throw another big dinner. And they're going to invite you over to see their new refrigerator. But wait a minute. Before that happens, you go home and there's your wife. Favorite dinner. Slippers or buy your favorite chair. You got a cigar or a cigarette or whatever you like to smoke. A, a non-alcoholic beverage is waiting for you. She makes a favorite dinner. She looks at it. She, she smiles and she says, congratulations, Dad. Number two's on the way. Wow! And so the same situation happens. She gets up at 2 o'clock in the morning to start going down and do the free foraging. You think I'm kidding about this 2 o'clock in the morning? How many guys have had have children? It's true, isn't it? Yeah, 2 o'clock in the morning, they get hungry and start foraging. They do. Life is preparing them for the children who want their 2 o'clock feedings. All right. You're sound asleep. It's two-ish in the morning. All of a sudden, ah! wake right up. You grab your baseball bat. You run downstairs to get to the refrigerator, ready to do battle, defend your family. And there's your wife with the door open, shivering and saying, I'm cold. Oh. What's wrong, honey? Well, when I opened the door, this darn evaporator fan motor blew all the cold air on me. Woke me right up. And of course, when I wake up, I want to share. So I want you to be up too. Oh. What can he do to solve this problem? How can he get a good night's sleep? Don't say anything about divorcing the wife, okay? That's not going to happen. What can he do? Well, he's got one switch left. He takes the last switch and he installs it. The last door switch. 
When the door closes, the switch makes contact and the evaporator fan motor runs. When his wife opens the door, the switch opens, the evaporator fan motor shuts off. That's a refrigerator system. Yeah, this whole thing's a refrigerator. Yes! I was looking at this at, at home. I was like, uh, what, what, what are you doing? Wow, he sells the Joneses, call him over, congratulating on his new uh, child to be. And as he walks in the house, Mrs. Jones says, hey, welcome to our house. Let me show you my new through the door water maker and ice maker where I still cheat cheat chicken in the class. Oh, yeah, and by the way, let me show you our new heated butter maker. So as I open the door, I can select the heat temperature I want. And now I take the butter out and I can spread the butter on the bread. Do you guys grow up where you, all you have is stone hard bread? You, you go, tunk, 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 and you actually tear holes in that white bread? Huh? I grew up that way. So now you got a, a complete ice maker system with defrost circuit, water solenoid valves, crunching solenoids, ice maker harvest heater, ice maker harvest heater timer. You got all this cool stuff, but luckily for you, I woke up. So I'm not going to put it on the board. Copy this down. We're done with our story. You got a TV in there. You know what? I, at this point, I would have moved away from the Joneses. If it been me, really, I would have. You know, hey, we're moving uptown. Far away from the Joneses. I thought I saw.